Hello everyone, welcome to High School Mathematics channel. Today we are going to learn class 8, chapter 1, rational numbers, new syllabus, examples 4 and 5 and exercise 1.1. Let us see now page number 13, example 4. Verify that minus of minus x is the same as x for x equal to 13 by 17 and x equal to minus 21 by 31. Let us see the solution. First one we have x equal to 13 by 17. The additive inverse of x that is 13 by 17 is minus x. Additive inverse of x is minus x and additive inverse of 13 by 17 is minus 13 by 17. Since we know 13 by 17 plus of minus 13 by 17 is equal to 0. Therefore, in our question they ask us to verify minus of minus x is equal to x. So, we have written minus of minus x that equals to minus of minus x means what minus 13 by 17 that equals to minus of minus means plus. So, 13 by 17. So, this 13 by 17 means what again x. Therefore, minus of minus x is equal to x. So, it is verified. See now, second one, we have x equal to minus 21 by 31. The additive inverse of x, that is minus 21 by 31 is minus x equal to 21 by 31. That means, additive inverse of x is minus x and additive inverse of minus 21 by 31 is 21 by 31. Since, minus 21 by 31 plus 21 by 31 is equal to 0. They ask us to verify minus of minus x is equal to x or not. So, minus of minus x that equals to minus of minus x value here 21 by 31. So, minus of 21 by 31 is minus 21 by 31 which is equal to x value. Therefore, minus of minus x is equal to x. It is verified. See now page number 14, example 5. Find 2 by 5 into minus 3 by 7 minus 1 by 14 minus 3 by 7 into 3 by 5. Let us see the solution. We have taken first two values as a group 2 by 5 into minus 3 by 7. Next we have written minus 1 by 14. We wrote here extra plus of minus 3 by 7 into 3 by 5 as a group. Now we can apply commutative property for the last two values. Let us take minus 1 by 14 as A and this value minus 3 by 7 into 3 by 5 as B. So by applying commutative property A plus B is equal to B plus A. So we have written here in the next step minus 3 by 7 into 3 by 5 and this value minus 1 by 14. So first value as it is 2 by 5 into minus 3 by 7 plus we have written here a plus b means b plus a. So, we written in this way minus 3 by 7 into 3 by 5 minus 1 by 14. Now, by observing this, it looks like distributive property that is a into b plus a into c. That means a into b plus c we have to write. Here in this both terms minus 3 by 7 is present. So, we shall take this as common write down minus 3 by 7 into, now we shall write B plus C value here, B is 2 by 5 and C value is 3 by 5 and write down the last one, minus 1 by 14. That equals to minus 3 by 7 into, here denominators were equal, we shall add the numerator. So write down by 5, 2 plus 3 means 5. Minus 1 by 14. Here 5 and 5 are cancelled. So the value is 1. We shall multiply the numerators now. Minus 3 into 1. Minus 3. By 7 into 1. 7. Minus 1 by 14. That equals to for 7 and 14. If we have done LCM. We get 14 as LCM value. Now write down numerator minus 3 
into 7 table 14 is 2 times write down 2 minus numerator 1 into 14 table 14 is 1 time. So multiply by 1 that equals to minus 3 into 2 that is minus 6 minus 1 into 1 1 by 14 that equals to minus 6 minus 1 that is minus 7 by 14. 7 tables are 1 the 7, 7 2 is a 14. So the final answer is minus 1 by 2. See now exercise 1.1. First question. Using appropriate properties find first one minus 2 by 3 into 3 by 5 plus 5 by 2 minus 3 by 5 into 1 by 6. Let us see the solution. Here. These two values we are going to apply commutative property that is a plus b can be written as b plus a. Let us treat 5 by 2 as a a and minus 3 by 5 into 1 by 6 as b. So we can write this as b plus a. So see here next step minus 2 by 3 into 3 by 5. Now we have written this value as b. So plus of minus 3 by 5 into 1 by 6 it is b value. Plus a. A value means here 5 by 2. Now in the next step we shall apply distributive property. See here we know distributive property is a into b plus a into c can be written as a into b plus c. So here we are going to take 3 by 5 as common here into so a into b plus c. Here b value means minus 2 by 3. Here we have taken only 3 by 5 as common. So this minus will be applied for 1 by 6. So write on minus 1 by 6 plus 5 by 2. That equals to 3 by 5 into. Now we shall do LCM for the denominators 3 and 6. That is. 6 only. So write on denominator 6. Now write on numerator minus 2 into 3 table 6 is 2 times. Write on multiply by 2. Then write on minus 1 into 6 table 6 is 1 time. So into 1 plus 5 by 2. That equals to write on 3 by 5 into minus 2 into 2 that is minus 4. Minus 1 into 1 that is minus 1 by denominator 6 plus 5 by 2 that equals to 3 by 5 into minus 4 minus 1 that is minus 5 by 6 plus 5 by 2. 3 table 3 ones are 3, 3 twos are 6, 5 table 5 ones are 5, 5 ones are 5. Now let us multiply the numerators 1 into minus 1 that is minus 1 by multiply denominators 1 into 2 that is 2. Write on plus 5 by 2 that equals to here denominators are equal so write on by 2 and add the numerators 5 minus 1 that is 4. Now 2 table 2 ones are 2, 2 twos are 4. See now first question second sum 2 by 5 into minus 3 by 7 minus 1 by 6 into 3 by 2 plus 1 by 14 into 2 by 5. Let us see the solution. Now let us apply commutative property for this both. Let us treat minus 1 by 6 into 3 by 2 as A and 1 by 14 into 2 by 5 as B. Now applying commutative property A plus B can be written as B plus A. So we have written 2 by 5 into minus 3 by 7. This B value that is 1 by 14 into 2 by 5. Then A value that is minus 1 by 6 into 3 by 2. Now in these both terms we are going to apply distributive property that is A into B plus A into C that can be written as A into B plus C. So let us take 2 by 5 as common. Write down 2 by 5 into, so this is A value. So A into B plus C. Here B means minus 3 by 7 plus 
C value means 1 by 14 plus write on this last value minus 1 by 6 into 3 by 2. That equals to write down 2 by 5 into here 7 and 14. If we have done LCM we will get 14. So write down denominator 14. Now write down numerator minus 3 into 7 table 14 is 2 times plus write down the numerator 1 into 14 table 14 is 1 time plus here multiply the numerators and denominators minus 1 into 3 that is minus 3 by multiply denominator 6 twos are 12. Again see here 3 table 3 ones are 3, 3 table 3 fours are 12. Now write down the next step that equals to 2 by 5 into write down here minus 3 into 2 that is minus 6 plus 1 into 1, 1 by 14 plus of minus 1 by 4. That equals to 2 by 5 into minus 6 plus 1 that is minus 5 by 14 plus of minus means minus 1 by 4. Here 5 table 5 ones are 5, 5 ones are 5. 2 table 2 ones are 2, 2 sevens are 14. So write down. Multiply the numerators 1 into minus 1 that is minus 1 by 1 into 7 that is 7. Next minus 1 by 4 that equals to 7 and 4 LCM is 28. Write on numerator minus 1 into 7 table 28 is 4 times. Next minus 1 into 4 table 28 is 7 times. So that equals to minus 1 into 4 that is minus 4 minus 1 into 7 minus 7 by 28 that equals to minus 4 minus 7 means minus 11 by 28. So this is our answer. See now second sum write the additive inverse of each of the following. First one 2 by 8, second one minus 5 by 9, third one minus 6 by minus 5, fourth one 2 by minus 9 and fifth one is 19 by minus 6. Let us see the solution. Additive inverse of 2 by 8 is minus 2 by 8. See the second one. Additive inverse of minus 5 by 9 is 5 by 9. See now third one. Additive inverse of minus 6 by minus 5 is minus of minus 6 by minus 5. Here minus minus were cancelled. So the answer is minus 6 by 5. See in a fourth one. Additive inverse of 2 by minus 9 is 2 by 9. See the fifth one. Additive inverse of 19 by minus 6 is 19 by 6. See now question number 3. Verify that minus of minus x equal to x for x equal to 11 by 15 and x equal to minus 13 by 17. Let us see the solution. First one x equal to 11 by 15. The additive inverse of x equal to 11 by 15 is minus x equal to minus 11 by 15. That is additive inverse of x is minus x and 8 inverse of 11 by 15 is minus 11 by 15. Since 11 by 15 plus of minus 11 by 15 is equal to 0. Here in this question they ask us to verify minus of minus x is equal to x of naught. So we have written minus of minus x that equals to minus of minus x value is minus 11 by 15 that equals to minus of minus means plus. So we have written plus 11 by 15 that means 11 by 15 we have written which is equal to x therefore minus of minus x is equal to x hence it is verified see now third question second sum here we have x equal to minus 13 by 17 
the additive inverse of x equal to minus 13 by 17 is minus x equal to 13 by 17. That is, additive inverse of x is minus x and additive inverse of minus 13 by 17 is 13 by 17. Since minus 13 by 17 plus 13 by 17 is equal to 0. Here in our question, they ask us to verify minus of minus x is equal to x or not. So, we have written minus of minus x that equals to minus of minus x value is 13 by 17 that equals to minus 13 by 17 which is equal to x. Therefore, minus of minus x equal to x. Hence, it is verified. See now question number 4. Find the multiplicative inverse of the following. First one minus 13. Second one minus 13 by 19. Third one 1 by 5. Fourth one minus 5 by 8 into minus 3 by 7. Fifth one is minus 1 into minus 2 by 5. And sixth one is minus 1. Let us see the solution. Multiplicative inverse of minus 13 is. See here. Minus 13 below no value. So we shall take here denominator 1. So minus 13 by 1. Multiplicative inverse means nothing but reciprocal of the given number. So minus 13 by 1 multiplicative inverse is minus 1 by 13. See now second one multiplicative inverse of minus 13 by 19 is minus 19 by 13. See now third one multiplicative inverse of 1 by 5 is 5 by 1 which is nothing but 5. See now fourth one minus 5 by 8 into minus 3 by 7 that equals to minus into minus means plus multiply numerators 5 3 is 15 multiply denominators 8 7 is 56. So fourth one is 15 by 56. So multiplicative inverse of 15 by 56 is 56 by 15. See now fifth one minus 1 into minus 2 by 5. That equals to minus into minus plus 1 2 is 2. Multiply denominator so here no value so 1 into 5 that means 5. So this value is 2 by 5. Now multiply to inverse of 2 by 5 is 5 by 2. Sixth one is minus 1 value. So multiplicative inverse of minus 1 is minus 1. Today we have seen class 8 chapter 1 rational numbers examples 4 and 5 exercise 1.1 1, 1 to 4 sums. In our next video we shall see remaining sums of exercise 1.1. 1. 1. Hope you all like this video. If you like this video, please like, share to your friends and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.